Newmarket is known as Horse Racing HQ in England and for good reason, with the town being heralded as the birthplace for the sport we love. Not only is it rich in racing history, but Newmarket is also home to some of the most historic stud farms in England, chief among them, the National Stud. Tim Lane has recently taken over running of the stud and with three new stallions added to the roster for the 2018 season, I think it's fair to say that Tim has certainly hit the ground running. Since the 1st of May when I started, a lot's happened, obviously with the new horses and what have you, and we're in the midst of the breeding season now and uh, there's enough to keep you busy anyway, but it's, no, it's great, very lucky, good team of people and uh, all three new horses have been well received and, you know, acclaim has been massive and time test, you know, is filling up and, you know, spill the beans offer something totally different for, you know, Europe. I'd say we'd foal nearly a hundred, maybe a bit more, you know, they, we keep getting them booked in every day and what have you, what's good. Uh, we're up to 29 so far, so we're, we're rocking and rolling. I think it's very clever of Billy Jackson stops to bring him up with Johnny McKeever. Schnitzel's a sensation, he really is, and to have a horse, you know, by Schnitzel standing in Europe is massive. He landed in September, I think it was, or early October. Yeah, amazing to have him here, really is. Uh, son of acclamation, Group 1 winner. That sort of horse doesn't really retire in England. They sort of end up in the big farms in Ireland. It's a bit of a fairy tale thing, really, because I was told the horse was sold, you know, sort of uh, October yearling sales. And then suddenly to get the phone call to go for a cup of tea with John Ferguson to discuss him standing here was a bit mind-blowing, but he's, he's, he's a lovely horse, he really is, and yeah, we're privileged to have him, really are. I was very lucky, I got to see him an awful lot at Roger Charlton's, and he was the type of horse you'd always pick him out in the barn he was in when he put his hair over the door. He, you know, he, I mean, he broke a track record at Royal Ascot, so he's no mug or slug, you know. He, he won't lack for support, you know, he really won't. There's a lot of structure behind him, and. You know, Philip Mitchell was key to getting him here. He was, and you know, he's been massive, like with Spill the Beans, and he's he's been a massive uh, cog in the wheel, should I say? You know, making it happen as well. So, you know, without him, we'd, without Philip's input, you know, we we probably wouldn't have all the horses. He's 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 an amazing horse, Greg. He's got a great mind, and it's it's going to be tough for him as it is for any horse, you know. But it, I, I think with him the way he is, and he was a very tough horse himself, and he turned up every Saturday, so you know, be very hopeful, he really would. And Marcel, bless him, he's got his first foals. Uh, yeah, we've seen a couple of them, and to be fair, he's got quite a book of mares this year to him already, so we'd be hopeful, you know, he'd cover quite a few and what have you. He's a lovely horse, bless him, lovely big horse, and to do what he did as a two-year-old was fairly amazing, you know, it really was. Yeah, he's great, we're very lucky. Ed Dunlop, bless him, rang me up and said to go and see him, did we want a trip to Paris to come and live here and we're very lucky with a great girl, Emma, who runs the racehorse yard and sort of, she's adopted him as her own, I think. He is a real character, I'm very lucky to have him and he's going to sort of do ROR this year. He is just a character though, from kicking cars to biting people, so you know, <laughs> he knows he was very good, I think. <laughs> I think, you know, Philip said we when I came, he said, we need to be seen to be open for business. And we could have probably stood, if I'm honest, six horses, new horses this year. We really could. It was amazing what horses we got offered. And uh, But they need to be the right horses. They need to be the horses that are going to be well supported. And they need to be of a standard that, you know, people are going to believe in them and know that we believe in them, you know. And we're not in the job of just standing, you know, horses for the money. It's, it's to make stallions and... It's all about partnerships, isn't it, and working together, and we're very lucky, you know, it seems to be going the right way.